ट्वेंटीज में आप गर्द नहीं खरीदना रेंटिंग ही बेटर है जैसे आप थर्टीज में गए तो आपका कमाई भी ज्यादा होता है तब खरीदना हर एक आदमी को एक मेंटल सेंस ऑफ कंफर्ट होना चाहिए कि मेरा खुद का घर होना क्योंकि खुद का घर जो है ना वो बहुत ही मेंटली बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करता है हमको डी यू फील की स्टॉक मार्केट में लोग ज्यादा पैसे कमाते हैं रियल स्टेट यू नीड टू एनालाइज वेर द सप्लाई डिमांड वेरियंस एंड आउ द कंट्री इज गोइंग टू बिहेव दो गोल्डन रूल क्या वास्तु एक मेजर सेलिंग पॉइंट होता है यस हाइड्राबैड में तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है विदाउट वास्तु इवन इन द बेस्ट ऑफ द मार्केट एंड इन द लोएस्ट ऑफ द प्राइस यू स्टिल कैट सेल रियल स्टेट में सबसे खराब क्या देगा आई सीन यू नो डेवलपर्स और अगेन एजेंट्स सेलिंग थिंग्स ऑन द पेपर not few hundreds hundreds of crores but thousands of crores to thousands of investors and essentially those projects will never take off government tenders of cleanly mil jate hain national is more cleaner than state politics plays very important role in real estate in a short term yes long term no how can someone from a middle class get rich with real estate aaj ka episode bahut hi demanded topic pe hai that is real estate to aaj ke podcast pe हमने ये डिस्कस किया है कि पैसे ज़्यादा रियल स्टेट मार्केट में बनते हैं कि स्टॉक मार्केट में बनते हैं कैसे कोई मिडिल क्लास इंसान रियल स्टेट में एंटर होके बहुत पैसे कमा सकता है और रिच बन सकता है क्यों लोग रेंट प्रेफर करते हैं ओवर बाइंग इन फ्यू सिटीज़ एंड वो बाइंग प्रेफर करते हैं इन फ्यू सिटीज़ ओवर रेंट हमने ये समझने की कोशिश करी है कि कैसे रियल स्टेट डेवलपर्स आपको और मुझे स्कैम करते हैं कौन सी ऐसी बातें हैं जो घर खरीदने से पहले ध्यान रखना चाहिए कौन से ऐसे क्वेश्चंस हैं जो रियल स्टेट डेवलपर से हमें पूछने चाहिए इन्वेस्ट करने से पहले एंड हमने ये समझने की कोशिश करी है कि चाइना में नाइन्टी डेज में बिल्डिंग बन जाती है इंडिया में क्यों नहीं बनती टेक्नोलॉजी वाइज हम आज कहाँ पर हैं तो ये पूरा एपिसोड है विद द फाउंडर ऑफ ए एस बी एल अजितेश कोरुपलू बिफोर यू डू दैट गो सब्सक्राइब राजमानी क्लिप्स और राजमानी शॉर्ट चैनल क्योंकि वहाँ पर हम इस बड़े एपिसोड की छोटी छोटी क्लिप्स काट कर आपके सामने लाते हैं ताकि आप एक इंसाइटफुल और बेहतर इंसान बन सकें कम समय में इन्जॉय द शो दिस यू स्टार्टेड पेरेंट्स स्टार्टेड वॉट दिस so basically my I come from real estate family background so my father started Ashoka Builders and then uh, under undergrad हो जाने के बाद पापा के साथ एक project करा था करने के बाद we realized that uh, you know हमारा विचारधारा बहुत different है <laughs> right and then it, uh, उन तीन साल we used to have lot of fights okay. right dinner table झगड़ा which my mom used to be the <laughs> judge or the settlement party so after that uh, you know then we sat down one एक शाम हम दोनों बैठ के दैन बातचीत किए थे एंड देन बोथ ऑफ अस म्यूचुअली एग्रीड दैट इट्स इन द बेस्ट इंटरेस्ट दैट वी टेक अ डिफरेंट कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन तो डिफरेंट कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन मतलब सो आई देन इट वो यू गो स्टार्ट योर ओन कंपनी अच्छा राइट एंड वेर एवर आई कैन शेयर माई विजडम विथ यू बट इट्स ऑल योर्स नो यू हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच सो देन वी स्टार्ट इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन एस बी एल फुल फॉर्म क्या है अशोका बिल्डर्स इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड अब I want to ask you a question which is very important. Mm-hmm. Okay, सब मेरे को बहुत ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट है स्पेशली हमारी जनरेशन में बहुत हो रहा है रेंट वर्सेज बाय क्या घर खरीदना चाहिए लोगों को आज के ज़माने में सी डेफिनेटली वन वन समबड़ी इज इन दर ट्वेंटीज दे शुड नॉट बाई अ हाउस रेंटिंग इज बेटर बिकॉज देर इज पीपल नीड टू इन्वेस्ट एंड सेव एंड सी वन थिंग यू लुक द अदर इन ट्वेंटीज यू आर अर्निंग इज ऑल्सो नॉट मच सो हाउसिंग इज अ कॉस्टली प्रोडक्ट तो जब आपके पास ज़्यादा पैसे है फाइनेंशियली कंफर्टेबल है तभी आप खरीदना तो ट्वेंटीज में आप घर नहीं खरीदना रेंटिंग ही बेटर है राइट एस यू गोइंग टू थर्टीज जैसे आपका शादी होएगा और बच्चे पैदा होते हैं ना तब हर एक आदमी को एक मेंटल सेंस ऑफ कंफर्ट होना चाहिए कि मेरा खुद का घर होना क्योंकि खुद का घर जो है ना वो बहुत ही मेंटली बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करता है हमको जो हम रियलाइज नहीं करते लेकिन वो एज को आए तो करते हैं सो एंड जैसे आप थर्टीज में गए तो आपका कमाई भी ज़्यादा होता है तब खरीदना लेकिन एक वन फैक्टर तो क्लियर अगर आप किसी घर खरीदना मतलब इट्स अ इट इट्स अ कॉस्टली अफेयर वो चीप अफेयर नहीं है वो बहुत कॉस्टली अफेयर है राइट अनलेस आपके पास फाइनेंस है आप कंफर्टेबल है नहीं खरीदना तब तक रेंट खरीदना बेटर है तो यू नो आई वुड सजेस्ट पीपल वंस वेन यू हैव सफिशेंट मनी राइट यू बाय अ हाउस बिकॉज सी एनी विच वेज एवरी पर्सन इन द लाइफ विल एनी विच वेज बाय अ हाउस वन हाउस एट लीस्ट बिकॉज इज जस्ट द सेंस ऑफ कम्फर्ट हाउस गिवज़ यू अ ग्रेट सेंस ऑफ कम्फर्ट तो वो ऐसा ही होएगा बट वो आप राइट यू नो राइट टाइम पे करना है 
like uh, 20s is not probably not the right, not the right time par 30s mein bhi do you think sense karta hai khareedna ghar kyunki mm-hmm. aaj agar aap rental yield dekho mm-hmm. especially agar aap bombay bangalore mm-hmm. uh, delhi jaisi cities mein rehte mm-hmm. ho specifically let's talk about bombay mm-hmm. residential rental yield kitna hoga 2% hoga 2% correct right. to agar aaj main mere 1 crore rupaye lagata hu ek ghar pe mm-hmm. us pe 2% mujhe रेंट भरना है करेक्ट राइट दो लाख रुपए साल का रेंट भरना है मुझे मैं अगर वो एक करोड़ रुपए बैंक में भी रख देता हूँ तो मुझे एफडी पे छः परसेंट मिलना है करेक्ट तो मैं हर साल एक करोड़ रुपए बैंक में रखूँ और उससे मुझे छः लाख जो मिले दो लाख रुपए का मैं रेंट भरूँ और जो बाकी चार लाख रुपए हैं वो मैं उड़ाऊँ ना <laughs> <laughs> अगर तो लॉजिकली मुझे घर खरीदने की जरूरत ही नहीं होनी चाहिए नहीं जब आप घर खरीदते हो ना आप एसेट भी क्रिएट करते हैं राइट आप जगह लेट से आई एम रनिंग आई एम डूइंग अ जॉब एंड आई एम आई एम मेकिंग मनी राइट अल्टीमेटली माई सेविंग्स हैव टू गो एंड क्रिएट एसेट्स या राइट इट माइट बी लिक्विड एसेट्स लाइक मैंने जाके कुछ कंपनी का स्टॉक खरीद लिया है इट कैन बी फिजिकल एसेट लाइक गोल्ड और रियल इस्टेट और एनी थिंग सो पीपल ट्रांसफर द सेविंग्स इन टू एसेट्स दैट्स पॉइंट नंबर वन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज सो आप जो रिटर्न देख रहे हैं ना वो केवल रेंट के हिसाब से देख रहे हैं लेकिन प्रॉपर्टी का प्राइस भी बढ़ता है अप्रिसिएशन अप्रिसिएशन भी होता है अप्रिसिएशन होता है मेट्रो सिटीज में सी अगर आप एवरेज चार परसेंट पाँच परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन के जरिए पकड़िए राइट फाइव टू सिक्स परसेंट तो इन्फ्लेशन ही है उस जरिए तो होगा आपका राइट सो एंड देन जो आप जब आप घर खरीदते हैं भी ना आपका इक्विटी कितना है टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट और ट्वेंटी परसेंट होगा तो एसेंशियली आप लेवरेज का गेम खेल रहे हैं राइट सो वेन यू लेयर ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू गेट अ गुड रिटर्न वेरी गुड रिटर्न इट विल ऑलमोस्ट रन टू फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटीन परसेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन इन अ वेरी सिंपल सिंपल वे समझो पंद्रह सोलह परसेंट घर खरीदने से कैसे इंटरेस्ट बनता हाँ चलो आप खरीदिए खरीद लिया एक करोड़ का ए वन करोड़ का हाउस राइट उसमें आपका इक्विटी है ट्वेंटी लैक्स एटी लैक्स बैंक दे रहा है राइट एंड वो चार साल इट टेक्स टू बिल्ड द हाउस राइट एंड देन एवरी ईयर लेट्स अज्यूम द हाउस इज अप्रीशिएटिंग एट एट एन इन्फ्लेशन एडजस्टेड रेट ऑफ फाइव टू सिक्स परसेंट मतलब फोर ईयर्स में कॉम्पाउंडिंग लगे तो अब थर्टी परसेंट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट के जरिए देखे तो थर्टी परसेंट तक आ जाएगा वो राइट वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू वन वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स इंटू जीरो सिक्स इंटू जीरो सिक्स राइट सो जब आप चार साल के बाद हैंड ओवर ले लिए राइट ले लिए के बाद आपको आप बेच रहे हैं वो फ्लैट कितने को बेचते हैं वन लै वन पॉइंट थ्री क्रोर्स को बेचते हैं वन पॉइंट थ्री क्रोर्स के नाउ इसमें आपका लाइबिलिटीज डेबिट करेंगे एटी लाख बैंक से लिया है वो एटी लाख निकाल दीजिए आप राइट इन चार साल आपका इंटरेस्ट एक्सपेंस होगा अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टेन लैक्स वो भी निकाल दीजिए सो एटी प्लस टेन लैक्स कितना हुआ नाइन्टी लैक्स वन पॉइंट थ्री क्रोर्स से नाइन्टी लैक्स निकाल दीजिए कितना है फोर्टी लैक्स आपका इन्वेस्टमेंट कितना है ट्वेंटी लैक्स तो डबल हुआ डबल हुआ चार साल में तो हाउसिंग में भी पैसा बनाने बनाने का एक मेथडोलॉजी है उसके जरिए चलना है तो इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट हाउसिंग एसेट एस एन इन्वेस्टमेंट दिस इज हाउसिंग एसेट एस एन इन्वेस्टमेंट देन योर स्ट्रैटेजी शुड बी ऑलवेज बाय एट द बिगिनिंग एंड एग्जिट अपॉन गेटिंग ओ and do this only with developers who have a track record of giving projects on time kyunki is chakkar mein kya hai ab jo 4 saal ka aapka building hai ab 10 saal le liya to aapka interest jo 10 lakhs hai na wo hoga 30 40 lakhs aap kuch nahi banayenge so yes jaisa aap stock market mein bhi invest karte hai na you invest with companies which have good capabilities to idhar bhi wo capability dekhna padega aapko isme ha do you feel ki stock market mein log zyada paise kamate hain अगर आप अच्छी कंपनीज में लगाओ मान लो टॉप फाइव मैं टॉप फिफ्टी इंडेक्स का लगा तो इंडेक्स में लगा तो यस तो इंडेक्स इन अ टेन ईयर होराइजन मेरे को इंडेक्स ज़्यादा अच्छे रिटर्न्स देगा दिन रियल स्टेट सी इफ यू लुक ऑन अ टेन ईयर होराइजन राइट देर हैव बीन आई एव वन ऑफ माई वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट यू नो फ्रेंड आई सेंट मी अ पोर्टफोलियो लाइक ई एनालाइज टेन ईयर्स एंड यू आर स्पीकिंग ब्रोक इट डाउन इन टू 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 ईयर विंडोज and he divided that into some 20 assets mm. stock market metal trading uh, agri product trading tech real estate BC, real estate gold guild everything so at at every different time each asset class performed differently <laughs> so there is no standardized rule here at all right the thing with equity see if you look at the index right index performs the uh, you know inflation se plus 3 4% pe chalta hai matlab 10% return aayenge aapko hmm. right kai tar land mein or housing mein aapko uh, you know good times mein you make that uh, extra alpha you make 15 16% also you make it so it purely depends on your particular strategy and you need to analyze at what which point of time where 
the supply demand variance and how the country is going to behave so there is no straight cut rule if one goes with the straight cut rule they might make the 10 12% but somebody who who customized to themselves or did better research might make more somebody who just blindly put it might lose Okay. So there is no one, you know, uh, one single one rule. rule. There's no golden rule. Okay. आपको लगता है कि आज real estate में opportunities हैं? For a young entrepreneur who wants to start a career. Uh, For anyone, see, क्या होता है कि आज I'll give. By the way, एक चीज के लिए मैं disagree करता हूँ, then उसके बाद मैं point बोलूँ. You said कि जब आप आपके thirties में हो, thirty five में हो, thirty five या नबाब हो, तब आपको घर लेना चाहिए, because then you start making more money and don't worry. There's a sense of stability. There's a sense of stability. आपको पता है कि आप क्या करने वाले हो, आगे expenses आपके थोड़े planned होते हैं, right? Recently एक survey आया था, वहाँ पे बोला globally, around including India. Okay, so they did this survey in top fifteen countries. Was में India भी included थी. Top fifteen countries, people in their twenties are making more money than people in their thirties. True. In last five years. True. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the whole debate was around this. Ki okay, there's so much consumption happening and so much spending power mm -hmm. has like gone up mm -hmm. because people in twenties are making more money. Mm -hmm. So if people are in their twenties are making more money than people who are in their thirties, probably they should. How start, will this logic sell? Like, huh, right? They should probably from this logic they should start investing in the house today uh -huh. because the argument on this was. A lot of people did this argument that mm -hmm. we want to wait and see whether this trend continues or no. Mm -hmm. Kya ye trend jo aaj twenties mein bahut zada kam aa raha hai. Someone who's making too much money in their twenties today, mm -hmm. will they be able to make same kind of money in their thirties as That well? Is. And will will it appreciate the Got way it appreciated in the previous decade as well? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the argument was that because they are doing it in fast, dynamic, quick change environment, mm -hmm. so quickly people are making money, and then quickly they're going to stop making money as well. Mm -hmm. So people who are making a lot of money in their twenties should be very cautious because in thirties they won't be able to make money because they are in careers mm -hmm. which didn't existed. Correct. Like These which didn't exist. Probably those uh, were ten years ago. So now uh -huh. yeah. there are like yeah. new careers for you, and that's why you're making demand supply gap. Me, you're making a lot of money. And then ten years later, these careers either will get democratized or won't exist. So mm -hmm. you need to be very very careful about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So this was the whole argument, and I love this. होल आर्टिकल इफ यू वॉन्ट आई कैन सेंड इट टू यू आई लव डिट कि कैसे लोग ट्वेंटीज में ज्यादा पैसे कमा रहे हैं थर्टीज से जो आज तीस साल का है उससे ज्यादा बच्चा बीस साल का कमा रहा है पर उसको डरना चाहिए क्योंकि जो आज वो कमा रहा है जिस जगह पे वो करियर दस साल पहले था ही नहीं करेक्ट सो तो आने वाले टाइम में चेंज हो सकता है रिपोर्ट बट आई प्रिज्यूम इट्स राइट बट आई थिंक इट्स इट्स फ्रॉम अ वेरी नैरो कॉन्टेक्सट Right, uh, definitely. I think it's uh, only from the taxation point of view. Ah, ta people who are paying tax, tax tax payers in twenties and tax payers in thirties. Thirties, right? Gone so essentially, then they are only taking in people who are working in the knowledge economy, right? And knowledge economy is a very small component of the overall pie. Coming back to actually this question, just uh -huh. start here. That if now if someone is real estate, me enter kar raha hai, uh -huh. do you think opportunities are? टीयर वन टीयर टू टीयर थ्री तीनों सिटीज की बात करते हैं एक बार एक परफेक्ट कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं क्या किसी को भी वो मे बी सेकेंड जनरेशन ऑन्टरप्रनोर हो जिसका पैसा है जिसको लगाना है या जो इंसान इनफैक्ट द बेटर वे वुड बी कि जो आज ये देख रहा है वो थोड़ा बहुत अपना पैसा कमा रहा है और वो इकट्ठा कर रहा है और वो चाहता है कि मैं थोड़े बहुत पैसे इकट्ठे करके मैं यहाँ तो छोटे पहले क्या होता था इन आर फादर्स जनरेशन आर सीन दिस वो पचास पचास हजार भी अगर इकट्ठा करते थे तो इकट्ठा कर करके पांच लाख छह लाख सात लाख कर लिए और फिर एक बहुत छोटा सा कहीं छोटी सी एरिया में फ्लैट ले लेंगे पांच दस लाख रुपए का यू नो बहुत ही छोटा सा लाइक इन अ स्मॉल विलेज और अ स्मॉल टाउन और स्मॉल सिटी वेर दे विल अक्यूमुलेट दिस मनी तो फाइव से ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स के बीच में फाइव से ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स के बीच में दे वुड गेट लाइक अ स्मॉल फ्लैट और स्मॉल समथिंग राइट दे वुड इजिली गेट इट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्वेंटी प्रॉब्लम तो सेम अभी आज भी लोग ये कर रहे हैं कि हम जैसे जैसे थोड़े बहुत पैसे कमा रहे हैं तो वो अब थोड़े बहुत पैसे वो स्टॉक मार्केट में लगाएं कि रियल स्टेट में लगाएं एंड सेकंड जनरेशन है जिसके पास करोड़ रुपए हैं वो भी ये सोच रहा है करोड़ों रुपए हैं वो भी ये सोच रहा है और जिसके पास लाख रुपये हैं वो भी ये सोच रहे हैं तो उनको क्या रियल स्टेट में पैसे लगाने चाहिए तो आपका ईयरली बेस्ड ऑन मेकिंग मोर मनी एन एसेट बेस्ड इफ यू ब्रेक डाउन रियल स्टेट एसेंशली आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रेक इट डाउन इन टू थ्री कैटेगरीज रियल स्टेट तीन कैटेगरी तीन कैटेगरी ठीक है From a commercial or enterprising or entrepreneurial opportunity perspective, के जरिए ठीक है right one is opportunity के perspective के जरिए right one is your traditional real estate मतलब आप land लाओ और approvals लेके आओ building बनाओ right जो 
i would say 70% of our business is in that hmm. right and other thing next thing is you can uh, you know the entire aspect of see real estate is a very big supply chain right you can you can catch hold of particular sol- point solutions hmm. right like for example you want to specialize in uh, in sales aspect right how do also usme bhi now there are globally companies which have earned like you know uh, millions of dollars some have even touched billions of dollars so you specialize in one particular aspect matlab you okay i will not worry about getting land and all this thing i'll only worry about engineering right matlab i'll get into contracting space hmm. okay engineering is labor issue i don't want to deal with it i'll only get into sales aspect right you can get into getting into channel partner sales partnership thing or you can get into digital this is one aspect right where one particular component of the supply chain you catch and you excel in that Mm-hmm. that's one thing there are better opportunities here than the prior one the third one i call is prop tech right most people don't put it under real estate category but i would like to consider it under the real estate category you can use technology to build great productivity in real estate and then you know you know you can scale much faster so these are the three aspects the bigger entrepreneurship entrepreneurship the bigger opportunity lies in the third one prop tech field next is this the traditional man there i would say amongst these three there's lesser opportunity because it's fairly stable yahi hota hai na ki kai baar agar you don't have a new idea existing ideas mein already people know it they know better than you so you won't have much space so yeah it depends on which you know what it is if you want to enter the traditional space i don't think there's much opportunity to agar aaj tum soch rahe ho ki tumne 25 50 crore rupaye kama liye hain aur tum ab apne shehar mein real estate ki zameen leke building bana doge less chances to bahut less chances for you yes. to make money in fact uh, if you actually see i i met with few my, in my known circle my friends uh, friends they were they were senior guys in ibm research scientist type and when i was asking what is the next big thing like you know because you're working in ibm at quarter so you are the probably the corest of the group mm-hmm. there so they were telling see there's only 10 percentage of data available on the internet 90 percentage of the data is not available is what they told i think that even needs to be corrected that 90 percent may another 90 percent is not even collected anywhere it's not just bond so whoever collects those is the next big thing right so a lot of data is just not captured capturing so establishing that is where i feel our prime business is moving so our traditional business is real estate but our our growth driver is a tech company which is built around you know the application is is a field engineering application okay so it creates a virtual twin and uh, you collect a lot of data around it so this data is nowhere collected so using this data we can like you know you like let's say you want to build a 40 floor apartment hmm. a project you don't need to do any you don't need to know anything you just have to subscribe to our neural schema right so basis on that schema your 40 floor project will be built you don't need to know anything so that's where the future is heading future is heading towards a lot of such models prefixed models and that models need to be validated with lot of data to identify that that's a right model and mm. the company which has such a technology will have a good stint at the future so you feel the new the next billion dollar opportunity for indians at this point mm-hmm. is to start thinking about no matter which industry you are in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just care about how can you collect more data in exactly. your industry because that data will give you enough insights to build a large business and large outcome out of it absolutely is absolutely yes absolutely and still there is 9x opportunity there what has so far happened with amazon's google's chat gpt and all is only 10% but give me an example of how huh? data can help us out let's say for example uh, i want to make it very clear so ki logo samajh mein aaye ki hum baat kaisi kar rahe hain mujhe mm-hmm. bhi perspective better tarike se samajh mein mm-hmm. okay how technology is as a vital role uh, you know in, pl- in, in disrupt real estate real estate right Building so building to banani hai <laughs> but there's a lot of lot of time i'm just must, I'm, i'm i'm talking like a 45 year old uncle kya hai बिल्डिंग ही तो बनानी है बताओ क्या बताओगे बताओ दैट वे सो दैट इट गिव्स मोर पर्सपेक्टिव राइट यस या सो आई सो इफ यू लुक एट व्हाट हैपेंस डे टू डे ऑन साइट्स लाइक लेट्स से वन ऑफ आवर प्रोजेक्ट इट्स अ लाइव प्रोजेक्ट वी आर वी आर बिल्डिंग 400 अपार्टमेंट्स इन अ प्रोजेक्ट वेयर आई एम बिल्डिंग 400 अपार्टमेंट्स इन 3 इयर्स स्पैन आई एम कंज्यूमिंग 8 एंड 1/2 मिलियन टू 9 मिलियन मैन आवर्स हम right so that's a very huge number of man hours with different people different skill sets heterogeneous skill sets okay all these 9 million are different uh, people with different skill sets at different points of time right now you see the optimization which can be done at such a scale so day to day what happens on sites is that laborers come 
right gang of laborers they might be anywhere from a batch of 10 people to 50 people hmm right and then the project manager or you know uh, allots them work okay bhaiya aap idhar jao aap ye flat number 506 jao aap do log teen log 606 jao or things like that hmm. right it, this process is highly inefficient one when the process when the project manager is telling them which flat or which location in that per se to go he doesn't have the list of all the locations there may be 30 locations but human mind cannot remember the 30 locations yeah second thing is laborers have come at 8 o'clock project manager time you know he he, he didn't come to the site yet they will wait or uh, the, he just went for his rounds into the project they'll wait so as a 2 3 hours in a day just waiting mein chal jata hai hmm right and then they are all alloc- allocated work and after jaane ke baad they dikha diya ki wo wo kaam udhar nahi kar sakte kyunki uska pichla kaam nahi hua hai then again they come back as a just hours 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 time goes right which is where we created a virtual twin system where this job essentially telling the laborers where to go they know what work to do if i'm a plumbing laborer i'll not do concreting work right mere ko samajh mein nahi aata hai wo main only plumbing hi karunga where to go is a very very essential thing which in our company our ai does it's not done by human because of which there's a 34% increase in productivity because why not of because they have you know they had boost or anything simply because they're not waiting they come to the site they take their equipment directly go to that location hmm. 34% our contractors bottom lines are almost going up by you know 20 22% so what will happen naturally he will pay more for his laborers because he need laborers more because he's earning good profit hmm. here so that's what i mean by increase in productivity so using this i am able to finish my building instead of 8 and 1/2 million man hours in a 7 and 1/2 million man hours so the 10 million man hour the 1 million man hours is a huge value gain that's one aspect where technology is playing a definite role see it's like imagine to put in perspective you know beehive right hmm. beehive mein kya hota hai there is one queen bee yeah. and there are millions of soldier bees so think about these as laborers right hmm. these soldier bees goes and does only one task collect pollen store here yeah. that's it they are doing homogeneous task what happens in a site is similar but heterogeneous so certain bees certain laborers go and do concrete works certain uh, laborers go and do plumbing works like that there are almost all we broke it down to 800 different works 800 different. 800 different works at almost all 3000 different locations at different points of time now imagine the optimization what can run and imagine doing this at a country scale hmm. see we are india's second biggest employer the sector is india's second biggest employer real estate real estate is india's second first biggest first is employer. it no no first uh, first is uh, agri 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 okay. uh, it less number less but high impact yeah. right so so if productivity goes up here two things happen one those who are there their wages will go up next you'll free up a lot more laborers who can move into other sectors see there are a lot of sectors where there's deficit of laborers right where these people can be upskilled and go there and they learn much better that's how china grew or any america or europe in the in the prime years so productivity gains has to happen right this technology will come in huge handy there imagine at a at a country scale see i'm making 400 apartments mota moti india will be making around 4 lakh apartments 400 apartments ke liye i'm using mota moti around 10 million man hours multiply that by what 1000 uh, times so you are talking about 10 billion man hours optimization there that's going to make us rocket speed that will you know take the country's gdp to much higher figures also the penetration of technology in this field is very low एंड इंडिया में हम अब असम में गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का लेवन नेशनल हाईवेज आर रन थ्रू आर डिजिटल ट्विन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड अहमदाबाद में वी आर डूइंग ऑडा अहमदाबाद अर्बन डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी प्रोजेक्ट्स सो इट्स अ स्मार्ट सिटी प्रोजेक्ट सो दैट वी आर डूइंग एंड चेन्नई में ऑल्सो वी आर बिडिंग सो या आई थिंक वी वॉन्ट टू इट्स लाइक दिस वी वॉन्ट द एवरी कॉलम टू हैव अ वॉइस इन स्पीक और एवरी रोड एवरी वी नाउ आर डिजिटल ट्विन इज देर इवन इन द रोड सेक्टर एवरी टेन मीटर ऑफ रोड टू tell about its birth history <laughs> like that <laughs> government projects you talked about that these mm-hmm. you are taking highways and stuff like that mm-hmm. kitna difficult hota hai government tenders win karna hai is industry mein ya so, government projects ko lana so luckily for us we don't directly deal with the government and with central government i feel it's fairly structured and streamlined and digitized also they have made a portal like amazon where people can bid and get so we It's work easily mil jata hai ki kuch upar se uh no, i think uh, with uh, most in that aspect most of the country has become fairly clean 
Really? Right. Yeah, yeah. In 20 years back, 10 years back, things were different. Government tenders of cleanly mil jate. Significantly. I wouldn't say national or sig- state. National is more cleaner than state, but everything is in a percentage. Let's say national is 80 percentage, state is 60, 65 percentage. Eventually, incrementally, every year, the 5 percent is becoming cleaner. 60 percent state ke de- tenders are like, ah, matlab, let's say, <laughs> majority numbers. of it uh-huh. is clean. Should, wow. Should be clean is what I'm thinking. <laughs> <Should be. laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't go back. <laughs> don't go back. Like, uh, I, I think you need uh, to understand this better. Uh, I mean, state to state, it will vary. Uh-huh. Maybe in certain states, it might only be 20%. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to Because my next question was going to be, I read a book yesterday. I mean, uh-huh. some part of book I read yesterday. Uh, it's an advanced copy mm-hmm. of a book called Bihar. <laughs> Okay. Bihar, the politics, the business Mm -hmm. of the entire state Mm -hmm. and what's going on. Like, Mm -hmm. I just read a couple of pages. It's an advanced copy. Mm -hmm. I just received it yesterday by an author who's going to publish it soon. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah. certain states. So like I was going to ask you, I was like, okay, hey, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> See, certain states like BR and maybe Bengal, like UP was there before, but now it's totally changed. Significantly changed, I would say. But yeah, certain, uh, I would say economically backward states, the transparency is very less. Mm-hmm. So, matlab, jo government ka admi hai, unko contract milta hai, or or like just a normal credible guy also got he might not get payment two things yeah. can happen so ye pra- that, hoti hai, hmm. uh, government tenders mein maine dekha hai jahan pe jo clean hota hai wo to clean hai hmm. jahan pe thoda sa shadiness hoti hai jahan hmm. pe power zyada chalta hai more than or influence zyada chalta hai hmm. more than your cleanliness of books or your track record hmm. what happens ki tender koi bhi jeete kaam to wohi karta jisko karna hai yes that happens. So, that happens. Aap karo paperwork, aap jeet ke aao, aap cleanly, clearly aap tender leke aai. Mm-hmm. Lekin yaar road to ye local banda hi banai ga, nito us pure gaon wale khade ho jayenge, road nahi ban sakta ho. Yes. Yes. That happens. What is the worst thing you have seen? Uh, real estate mein sabse kharaab kya dega hai? Sabse jo galat cheez dekhi hai aapne aapki life mein. Maybe ab ho change ho gai ho, ya ho rhi ho, ya karna chahi ho. Uh, <laughs> See, at least in the city from which I come from, uh, and again, I'm a fairly new builder, and I've only been in this firm last five, six years, right? Uh, I've seen, uh, you know, developers or again agents selling things on the paper to the tune of not few hundreds, hundreds of crores, but thousands of crores to thousands of investors. And essentially those projects will never take off. The investors, maybe 5% of them know until now, the rest 95% still is okay. They don't know. The day they know it will become like a massive chit fund scam or a bank scam, bank run sort of thing. That I think is a little, uh, you know, again, this is not, again, I would say not everybody is exposed there, but a lot of people are. 20% of the market exposed to such things is also a big thing. So I've seen things being totally, you know, the way money is taken from the last mile, the customer, uh, there I think a lot more transparency can come in. And the customer also, see, they get carried away because of the peer pressure, the FOMO, or sometimes just greed. Right. And then without doing their due diligence. And it has, in fact, in our city, there's one group, I won't take the name, but it has recently come out in the media, an 1800 crore ka scam. And what scam is that you so, projects uh, and yeah, projects? Yeah, they just sold project on the paper. Mm-hmm. Not more than, uh, there's nothing which, uh, not even a stone moved on the site. Or probably very little thing has happened on the site. So, and then 1800 crore of money was taken from people and then some people took away their FD money or probably some people and all, you know, took away their savings or something like that and then they ran into some medical crisis and then it was, it all came out in the media. It was a very big thing. But yeah, those have to stop. Yeah. Those have to stop. So that I think is the most, I would say. Yeah, I have recently, I have also newspaper in the or third time pehle, that I'll tell you specifically around the country this is happening or in Indore mein mein padha tha, mm-hmm. ki kuch builders hai, jinone, Plots hai maybe us colony mein ya mm-hmm. us area mein 100 or wo 100 plots hazaar logo ko pechti hai. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. So, ek insaan ke paas ek hi jagi ke 15 owners hai, wo 15 claim kar rahi hai, meri jameen hai, meri jameen hai, meri jagi hai, and then kisi ko nahi pata kis ki hai. And either jo wo owners hai, jinho nahi becha hai, either they ran away, they lobed the country, mm-hmm. they're out of it, whatever they're yes. doing. Or they are so powerful that nobody is able to touch them. 
or they've done it in such a clean way hmm. that the company who sold all of this is essentially jo ha hmm. jo company ne jisne jis company ne ye sab banaya wo itna unhone creatively usko banaya ki wo unke naam pe hi nahi hai promoters maybe hmm. unke driver hain ya unka hmm. koi door ka koi insaan hai ya kisi ki doodh wale bhaiya hain usme dal diya right अब वो दूध वाले भैया को पता भी नहीं था कि मैं जिनके घर में दूध देता था मेरे नाम पे इन्होंने हजार करोड़ का स्कैम कर दिया ट्रू डेफिनेटली इनसेंटली बहुत लोग इसमें फंस गए आई वाज रीडिंग अबाउट इट डेफिनेटली दिस इज मोर इन टीयर टू सिटीज टीयर वन सिटीज में इट कम डाउन ड्रास्टिकली पहले टीयर वन में भी होता था हाँ होता था ना हाइड्राबैड में तो बहुत हुआ है लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स से पहले लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स से ये बहुत कम है बहुत कम है सी एज अगेन एज यू नो डेवलपर सेगमेंट बिकम्स मोर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड देन यू हैव अ रेपुटेशन टू लूज एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट इट्स इट इट हैपन्स अ लॉट लेस सो मोस्ट ऑफ दीज आर डन बाय फ्लाई बाय नाइट ऑपरेटर्स और समटाइम्स इवन एस्टेब्लिश गाइज बट लेस चांसेस दैर प्रॉबलिस्टिकली स्पीकिंग Tier two cities, mate, it's much higher, and you go more into district headquarters. This is a rampant business model. So you'll be lucky if your plot has only one owner. You'll be lucky. <laughs> really, in smaller districts, this yes, happens a lot. Yes, it happens it's like because that. there, what happens, Naraj? Uh, because the, the the local politics, law and order, in a way, judiciary, everything is controlled by these people. So where will you go and complain? What? Hmm. so that's where i feel reforms more reforms as the political reforms and judiciary reforms if, if from a real estate perspective i think political reforms i feel i'm happy with it they're progressively you're getting better and there is no overnight medicine in this i mean it's practical yeah. right but judicial reforms i think is something which is holding back these sectors and failing the last mile the person there ready you now that happened right you go and put the case 30 years you'll have to go to the court ka Uh, yeah. you know the corridors and uh, one you might not have the money second thing after 30 years you only won't be there na so so i think judiciary has to really up their game you very important question real estate mein mm-hmm. har local city mein matlab tier 2 cities mein especially in the tier 1 mein mein dekha jo real estate bade developers hote hain wo itni security ke sath kyu ghumte hain right unko itna threat kyu hota hai right i i mai pune gaya tha pehle aur us time pe आई डोंट नो कौन डेवलपर था कोई वहाँ का डेवलपर हो गया और हम लोग दस ग्यारह बजे एक शादी से निकले थे और ऐसे सिक्स सेवन कार्स विथ प्रॉपर जेड प्लस सॉर्ट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी आई डोंट नो कौन सी सिक्योरिटी होगी जेड जेड प्लस समथिंग राइट वो वैसी टाइप की सिक्योरिटी में निकला और मैंने लोग कौन आ गया लाइक पी एम आ गया क्या लाइक आई थॉट पी एम बिकॉज आई वॉज लाइक वाओ एंड देन माई फ्रेंड सेट किए तो बहुत नॉर्मल ये वो वाला बिल्डर जा रहा है अरे वाह ओके Similarly, I've seen it in Indore. Mm-hmm. Most of the big, uh, big real estate developers I've seen, वो लोग गनमैन्स के साथ घूमते हैं. I've seen the same thing in Mumbai. I've seen the same thing in Delhi. Mm-hmm. Right? Why is there a case that इतने सारे real estate developers मतलब क्या होता है? Like perpetually, informally, बहुत ज़्यादा risk होता है क्या? Very curious question. I was never able to ask this to uh-huh. वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स इन रियल स्टेट मुझे लगा मे बी कोई इंटरनल रीजन होगा हर्ट वर्ट नहीं हो जाएगा कोई आई कैन आस्क यू दिस सिर्फ एंड आई एम श्योर ये सब ने कहीं ना कहीं देखा होगा अपनी सिटीज में पहले तो ये बैंगलोर हाइड्रोपैड में थोड़ा कम है बट आई एक्सप्लेन द रीजन वाई इट हैपन्स सी मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज द द पीपल हू केम इन टू रियल इस्टेट एसेंशली वर पीपल हू आर वेरी क्लोज टू पॉलिटिक्स और सम सॉर्ट ऑफ muscle advantage matlab you had gunde like you had people whom you could tell and they can get it sorted mm-hmm. those sort of fields this is one aspect so in in like let's say you you stole land away from somebody right naturally there'll be an angst you never know how they'll reciprocate it that could be one reason second reason is your deliveries with your customers fail. this i'm seeing more this i'm this trend is picking up your deliveries with your customer fail then somewhere or the other they are going to react right when the reaction comes out like this then you need these people to block them that's mm-hmm. the why do you need security boss if somebody is attacking you you'll need security mm-hmm. politics plays very important role in real estate absolutely i would say if you're close to a politician in your city then you have high chances of winning in polit- in real estate in a short term yes long term no long term is exactly the opposite because the opponent when he comes over he'll screw you oh it it real estate that's why if you look at a lot of well established you ask even iranandani sir ilo sir tell the wisest thing in real estate is don't be aligned with politics at all right because okay, then licenses wagera milna bahut aasan nahi ho jata it does other than so when when you know somebody in you know higher rank in the politics things happen very easily for you 
and then when the opponent comes then all the easiness will become tough then okay some you know why but then because agar aap 5 saal mein 10 saal mein kisi ke sath acha relation karke aapne bahut paise kama liye hai to fir next wale se bhi aap wapas deal kar lo maybe at a higher price ha are ek bar wo 90% wo nahi chalta hai kyunki the other guy will feel like uh, you know when you're making this money also right the particular politician is also invested with you right uh, it's not that you have given money and he's left mm-hmm. so that tangle so you want to go after political vendetta mein kaisa re hota hai ki you know unka assets aapke paas hai so only if they attack you will that also come out and it happens mm-hmm. so the wisest thing is not to be not politically to be aligned in politics yeah. but then do you think ki because agar aap ek builder ho mm-hmm. aur aap apne shehar mein building bana rahe ho mm-hmm. koi na koi politician aake aapse बोलेगा कि मुझे भी इसमें शेयर चाहिए और प्रेशर करेंगे आपको अलाइन नहीं होना आप बहुत क्लीन लीग अच्छे से कर रहे हो बट देन अ पॉलिटिशियन वुड कम कि ओके ये टॉप फ्लोर मेरे को चाहिए एट दिस प्राइस एग्जांपल मेक यू आई हर्ड द स्टोरी रिसेंटली ओके सो अगर आपने एक दस फ्लोर की बिल्डिंग बनाई पूरी कमर्शियल उसने पॉलिटिशियन आया उसने बोला कि यार आपका रेट है मान लो दस करोड़ मैं आपको पाँच करोड़ दे रहा हूँ और ये मेरी हो गई यहाँ कभी वो दे भी नहीं रहा हूँ मैं आपको प्रोटेक्शन दूंगा हुँ, ये करूँगा और मेरे को पूरा टॉप फ्लोर चाहिए राइट प्रेशर है करेक्ट अब आप इस केस में क्या करो अगर आप दे देते हो तो आपका ऑब्जेक्टिव जो लॉन्ग टर्म का है वो खत्म हो गया क्योंकि आप एक पॉलिटिक्स पॉलिटिशियन से अटैच हो गए अलाइन हो गए और अगली बार उसकी बिल्डिंग है तो वो प्रॉब्लम होगी नहीं देते हो तो अभी उसका टाइम है तो वो ही कैन स्क्रू यू ओवर यस सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स है दे डू बट इसमें आई शेयर द लाइट इन दिस इसमें क्या होता है ना अगर पॉलिटिशियंस भी आजकल ऐसा है कि देर इज सम लेवल ऑफ फियर ऑल अक्रॉस सो नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू बी कॉट वेरी ब्लेटेंटली कमिटिंग द मिस्टेक राइट इफ एट ऑल देर इज सी हाउ द पॉलिटिक पॉलिटिशियन आर एनी आई वुड से द पावरफुल पर्सन देर हाउ दे डू इज इफ देर इज सम वायलेशन देर राइट देन दे हैव एन आर्बिट्राज लेट से यूर नाइन्टी 5% परसेंट एज पर रूल वाई आई से नाइन्टी फाइव नॉट हंड्रेड बिकॉज रूल सडनली चेंज ओवर नाइट इन दिस इफ यू नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट एज पर रूल दे ऑल्सो कैन नॉट डू दैट और एटलीस्ट इन द स्टेट और सिटी फ्रॉम वेर आई कम फ्रॉम दैट्स द केस एंड वन क्वेश्चन आई ऑलवेज हैड जब भी मैं प्रॉपर्टी के बारे में इंक्वायर करता हूँ बात करने के लिए सो सामने वाला बोलता है कि प्रॉपर्टी एक करोड़ की है बट ऑन बुक्स पैसे देने होते हैं चालीस लाख रुपए <laughs> और साठ लाख रुपए वो मांगता है कैश हाँ. अब मैं कहाँ से लाऊं सर ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट का जो ये है लॉजिक ये इतना ज्यादा क्यों है वो एक रियल स्टेट में वो एक यानी अन... हमेशा ही है कि अकॉर्डिंग टू गाइडलाइंस प्रॉपर्टी की वैल्यू एक करोड़ है करेक्ट एग्जाम्पल राइट right? और लेकिन वो प्राइस जो मांग रहा है सामने वाला वो दो करोड़ मांग रहा है या ढाई करोड़ मांग रहा है तो फिफ्टी आपको देना पड़ेगा कैश में और बाकी फिफ्टी परसेंट आप देते हो बुक्स के थ्रू करेक्ट वाई इज नॉट कमिंग नाउ सो इसमें टू थिंग्स है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल किधर भी लोग आपको वो ज़्यादा कैश पूछ रहे हैं और कैश ही पूछ रहे हैं उधर मत खरीदना डायरेक्टली आई टेल यू आई टेल यू वाई वाई वन शुड नॉट बाई चलो क्या है तो ये बिजनेस में ना आप आप एक करोड़ का अपार्टमेंट खरीदे और फिफ्टी लैक्स कैश दिया और फिफ्टी लैक्स चेक दिया मेरे को वो फिफ्टी लैक्स कैश मैं सिस्टम में नहीं डालता I I don't मतलब I don't go and buy steel or cement मैं steel और cement नहीं खरीदता इससे मैं पूरा वो फिफ्टी लैक्स जेब में रख लेगा और मेरा खुद का एक्सपेंडिचर और दूसरा लैंड खरीदने के लिए बाहर चला जाता जब पैसे बाहर चले जा रहा तो कंस्ट्रक्शन कैसे होगा तो यू नो जब मैं यू नो कई इन्वेस्टर्स से मिले थे एंड अगेन विथ कम्स विथ एक्सपीरियंस एंड वेन यू नो वेन वेन सम ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर्स वर टेलिंग मी ऑफ द स्टोरीज विच दे गॉट डूब्ड एंड वेन आई कुड मैप दैम ऑल आई रियलाइज दिस इन ऑल दिस प्रोजेक्ट्स थर्टी परसेंट से ज़्यादा लो वो जितना भी इन्वेस्टमेंट अमाउंट था थर्टी परसेंट से ज़्यादा जब लोग कैश में दिए है तो मोस्ट ऑफ द चांसेज द प्रोजेक्ट टर्न टर्न बैड सो लो फर्स्ट लोग कैश नहीं देना right absolutely don't give cash there will be alternates go by alternate or there's but na- there are lot of people jo builders hain ya jo jinki properties hain wo bechna chahte hain agar pura books mein to bhi nahi bech pate hain kyunki jo buyer hai wo cash dena chahta hai ha wo buyer ha wo buyer ka bhi problem hai ye ek hi tarah ki problem hai ki builder only cash puja ke now to abhi to bahut zyada builder zyada builder check hi puch rahe log tax bachane ke liye are mere ko stamp duty save karne ke liye gst save karne ke liye cash cash dene ka lene ka pressure dalte wo log bhi nahi karna kare to unka hi risk hai राइट right, वो कैश जो जो आदमी जो बिल्डर उनका कैश लेते हैं वो कैश बाहर चला जाता है फॉर प्रोडक्ट में पैसा कैसा पर अगर मान लो अगर किसी ने किसी को कैश दिया तो क्या वो उसको क्लेम कर सकता है कभी कुछ बोल सकता है नहीं कर सकते कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते ऐसे डायरी बुक्स छोटी छोटी जिसमें लिखवाते वो सब होता है ना 
होता है वो सब होता है बट बट उसका हाँ ऑथेंटिसिटी वो वो लोकल जो लेट से कोर्ट में चला गया आप इसको पकड़ के कोर्ट बोलेगा जो कैश देता है उनका भी प्रॉब्लम है तो वो केस जो बिल्डर ने टाइम को नहीं दिया वो केस रिवर्स आपके ऊपर गिर गया तो वाई टेक ऑल दैट रिस्क वो रिस्क क्यों लेना है बस वो दस सेव करने के लिए क्यों ये सब Rather, so I would say strong because जब आप कोर्ट में क्लेम करते करेंगे भी ना यू कैन ओनली क्लेम द अकाउंट विच एज कम टू माई बैंक अकाउंट रियली यस तो अगर आप एक करोड़ की प्रॉपर्टी उसमें पचास लाख कैश देते हो पचास लाख बुक्स में देते हो एंड द प्रोडक्ट वेंट बस्ट यू वॉन्ट टू क्लेम यूल ओनली गेट फिफ्टी लैक्स मेक पीस विद आपको पचास लाख ही मिलेंगे एक करोड़ नहीं मिलेंगे हंड्रेड आपने जो कैश दिया वो रिस्क पे ही चल रहा है हंड्रेड चल रहा है एंड इवन इफ आई इवन इफ द डेवलपर राइट्स अ चिट्टी एंड द कस्टमर राइट्स अ चिट्टी एंड यू पब्लिश इन द कोर्ट the guy who was given the cash he'll also go to the jail what happened what do you think what happened in noida noida kyun itna huh. zyada hype mein aake aur ekdam se bust ho gaya see one thing noida mein na one major thing called profile financing hota hai matlab kya hota hai aap uh, let's say you are an individual who's earning like uh, 50 lakh per year annual package matlab monthly 4 lakh kama rahe aap right and you are eligible for a, if you if you go buy a home you are eligible for let's say 4 crore ka home loan तो बिल्डर और एजेंट्स आके क्या बोले बस आप घर नहीं खरीदना बट आप हमको आपका वो वो लोन एलिजिबिलिटी दान दे दीजिए राइट सो यू कम एंड टेक द लोन द लोन इज टेकन ऑन योर नेम राइट एंड वन करोड़ का चार अपार्टमेंट आप खरीद लिए राइट बिल्डर को क्या होगा इससे एट परसेंट में डेट आएगा अगर वही डेट में जब मैं ऐसे बिल्डर बैंक से लेता हूँ ट्वेल्व परसेंट इलेवन टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट होगा बिकॉज आई एम फाइनेंसिंग इट थ्रो होम लोन आई रेड्यूस माई कॉस्ट बाई ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी परसेंट फोर फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल राइट एंड देन आई एंड टू माई बैंकर ऑल्सो आई शोड इट्स रेवेन्यू बुकिंग आई गॉट माई रेवेन्यू चलो चार फ्लैट भी बेच दे सो दिस आर्टिफिशियली इन्फ्लेटेड द रेवेन्यू बुक ऑफ अ कंपनी सो इन रियालिटी वॉट आर द सेल्स जीरो बट ऑन बुक इट्स फोर so Whoa. banker will put some guidelines okay boss you do a 10 sales or 20% inventory i'll give you the next uh, 20% of the amount so i'm booking all this to my profile financing and the guy who invested unko kya bolte boss aap 50 lakhs diye because i'm also benefiting chalo i'll give you some 25 lakhs or 30 lakhs or maybe another 50 lakhs so essentially that's the ye pura chakkar and when when the market became really tough and they're unable to do the regular sales what they started doing they stopped construction and who is the guy who is caught in this you or whoever the guy who, who was the profile financer this was very huge because of which because of the availability of profile financing la, supply went over the roof and i feel jo jo log aisa innovation mein uh, you know time spend karte wo natural product market fit aisa kuch bhi nahi hoga <laughs> ye pura alag ki tarah ki creative financing hai. creative financing so their naturally their product market fit would have been wrong aur aisa bhi ho sakta hai ki that market is just not ready or just as a gross oversupply and no product market fit can do wo research nahi karenge na so naturally struggle honge yeah very interesting kyunki yeah. ye type ki companies jo hain wo अब मुझे लग रहा है कि वो रियल स्टेट कंपनीज नहीं है फाइनेंशियल इंजीनियरिंग कंपनी नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ रियल स्टेट कंपनीज आर फाइनेंशियल इंजीनियरिंग देर इनो एंड ट्रस्ट मी देर वेरी इनोवेटिव इन दिस जस्ट दैट नॉट ऑल इनोवेशन लीड टू गुड आउटकम्स राइट दिस आर इनोवेशन विच लीड्स टू डेंजरस आउटकम दिस इज I didn't know this. This is very <laughs> new information for me. I love it. I love knowing about new things. This is I don't know why I've never heard about this profile financing yeah. and this is the reason why Noida went bust. Went bust. This was one single reason. So, one of the major reasons. So why did Noida went bust? Simple answer. Profile, fin- profile financing. Profile financing. Yes. Whoa. The balance sheet is inflated. There's no real customer mm. there. You know this is happening in Navi Mumbai as well early signs. People mm. are looking at this in okay. Navi Mumbai. Not profile financing. A lot of people bought Navi Mumbai mm. plots and Navi Mumbai carrier estate. Mm. in a hope that there's a new adani airport which is coming in navi mumbai Correct. which is one of the biggest right Correct. but all the major airlines have declined to operate from there did you know this oh, i that i didn't know why like recently i read the news like 2 3 days ago so airlines like indigo <laughs> which is a major okay, operator which is a major operator they've uh-huh. said no that they're not going to operate from there because of the distance uh-huh. there's like they don't have enough demand from navi mumbai mm-hmm. and mumbai customers they don't want to send it to navi mumbai Oh, because it's a major blocker and they lose a major market share so they are not ready to operate from there and if mm. you are not ready to operate from there then there are not many flights there so exactly so wo flight in yoga to wo airport almost mm. whole airport is gonna go mm-hmm. bust because if you look at the airport business mm. mm-hmm. airport business is not airport business it's a mall mm. business correct you are right. right it's actually a good way of looking the whole airport is a fancy mall mm-hmm. which takes you to your flight 
the whole way is converted into a mall and the bigger Correct. the airport the better the revenue because Correct. the whole area the they have designed the it into a mall retail ha tabhi everybody talks about red right? mumbai airport itta bada kyun itta kyun chalna padta hai kyunki yahan pe capacity bahut zyada hai log bahut zyada hai to walk jitna zyada karenge jitna zyada window shopping karenge utna zyada unki sales badhegi because the major revenue comes from these shops ha ha interesting so the airport is like a mall uh-huh. and they just want to keep making better 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 malls uh-huh. and that comes if you attract the right kind of airlines ha uh-huh. ha okay then there because will be a large majority of time. money they're going to make mm. through this this is very very important information i hope people know it through this <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know like uh, of course i mean i do though i don't operate here i do follow the news pan india i didn't know about this i thought oh, it was a natural thing that it moves to navi mumbai yeah. because city is even i thought even i thought mm. the same thing but i read it like 2 3 days ago where they like adani airports are now trying to convince these airlines i'm sure they will figure out some they'll way out, i think that's some right. some way yeah. okay. okay i have last uh, four five questions hmm. and these are quick more let's say more most google questions okay of. okay uh-huh. so i want to ask you this ki kya vastu ek major selling point hota hai यस हैदराबाद में तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है विदाउट वास्ट टू इवन इन द बेस्ट ऑफ द मार्केट एंड इन द लोएस्ट ऑफ द प्राइस यू स्टिल कैंट सेल सो इट्स दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड इन फैक्ट वेन इट कम्स टू वास्तु एटी परसेंट ऑफ इट इज जेन्यून साइंस इट्स गुड फॉर द यूजर ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट लाइटिंग इन द किचन दे से इज बिकॉज इन द ओल्ड इन डेज द होम मेकर यूज टू कुक राइट दैट्स अर फैक्ट्री स्पेस दैट्स अर ऑफिस स्पेस राइट एंड सनलाइट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ह्यूमन्स right now we are taking replacements vitamin d mm. right so 80% is genuine logic 20% in its fict- uh, superstition so yeah it but yeah it's a very important very important okay mm. and okay, how can someone from a middle class get rich with real estate hmm see fella, uh, just like what i've mentioned earlier right uh, use you see real estate mein you have to use debt if you don't use debt real estate is not your asset class boss you shouldn't be here right so let's say you're earning 3 lakh ka salary aapka loan eligibility hai 2 crore ka right you go buy a house right in the beginning with a good builder again who has a track record and right upon uh, handover exit you will make your 30 40% return on your uh, principal or i mean say 20 22% 20% you will make on a four year compound it's a lot of money even stock markets don't do that but uh, this you need to do it with a good builder and a good location and awesome. right go right when the product st- project starts and exit right after like once they get an oc plus minus got it okay then very important question i want to know your take on this hmm. why are property prices in india skyrocketing in last few years <laughs> uh okay see majorly i will say uh, because there was pandemic ke time mein kya hua na everybody were stuffed into the house right and suddenly that's the product which people are using in a day to day life what happens you get up use the house for very few active hours if you see you only use for 3 hours hmm. and then you're out you're no more no longer using the product in terms when the pandemic was there this product was being used almost 4x more matlab 12 to 15 hours you are active 12 to 15 hours in a day where you are in the house only so whichever product you use more then you want more of it if it, you know you want you want bigger so that translated into need of bigger space and when you were in your house what were you doing you were working now house generally is not a work space now you're working so matlab what you need more space because the house has to give you more functionality right agar aap gaadi karide you have to go chadao chadna hai so you have to buy a bigger engine or a four cross for same thing so now you're doing work out of house so you need more space to compensate for that feature right hence that extra 3 400 square feet right and next at time of pandemic that one to two years people were traveling less so more discretionary income on their hand and next thing uh, even the interest rates were low the, back in the day that led to a huge uh, you know sudden uh, you know explosion of demand and then it's going then now you see interest rates have gone uh, have definitely increased right so it is build it is bringing again some level of stability but yeah that was the latency war. and post pandemic the reverse has not occurred it's not that now people pandemic ho gaya now all five days i'll go to office that's not happening right hybrid work is here to stay yeah right and especially most consumers of housing are working in the knowledge economy or the service sector economy so where hybrid economy hybrid work culture is a pretty normal thing so hence the demand is continuing 
But do you think it has anything to do with NRI buying more houses in India? That is also there. Two reasons. Yeah, that's a good thing what you cited. So with NRI, what's happening is one again dollar has appreciated a lot against the rupee. So f- how for us fifteen percent the prices have gone uh, for uh, for them the fifteen percent has not happened because the currency may be advantage again. So it costs lesser for them. Point number one. Point number two. There's a reverse brain drain which is happening. A lot of NRI, especially millennials. do not see themselves to be staying in uh, in you know in in us particularly or europe wherever they're staying for long term they see that there's a lot of opportunity back home in india i'm here working for 5 6 years to make a decent savings and i'm going back kuch to opportunity milega boys pass over there whereas at the same time those economies are sink- i wouldn't say sinking but they're definitely stabilizing or slightly going towards a lesser growth so they don't see much opportunity so the nra buying has gone up a lot yes okay then another question ki i want you to be very honest here mm-hmm. what are the hidden charges behind buying a house which a normal customer doesn't get to know okay uh, i think this this generally even i also when look up online this quite a trending thing surprising thing is in hyderabad it's very less it's quite you know it's all laid out i think it's particularly ncr and bombay wala question this is okay because i yeah it looks like they didn't charge us or more see first one needs to know the basic cost like per safety kitna hai boss and then maybe they charge here for parking so parking you need to know are they charging or no next thing is clubhouse and amenities are they charging or no next is then there is a special thing like okay adrabad mein to east facing more prefer hota hai vastu ke zariye so east facing ko extra dal dete here it might be some park view sea view or any view right and on top of this uh, check for maintenance maintenance anyways the developer doesn't take but it's something which you have to shell down check for maintenance and corpus and any other legal expenditure on top of this check for uh, when like like you know the clause where let's say invoice is raised and uh, what is the duration what is the penalty let's say developer raises the invoice chalo boss up 10 lakh uh, 10 lakhs ka rupee money pay karna hai and then for how long the interest is not levied on that it might be 15 to 30 days invoice uh, credit period jo bolte hai after that how much uh, money is he charging as interest check for these things rest to just only gst and stamp duty which you will know which which is fairly transparent okay um what do people look in a property before buying what do common people should look in a property mm-hmm. Uh, from a builder's perspective builder. tell me see i'll i'll tell you this way and Ki this are builders bekhoof bana sakte hain logo ko <laughs> uh see okay i'll tell you this place see many people miss out two things one they do not really understand how much is it that they can afford and that is where a builder can get the better side of them one needs to and they end up let's say i can afford a 100 rupee product I end up buying a one thirty rupee product, and that's dangerous for the immediate three four years of my financial life. I have to really suffer with that because my discretionary income will be hugely cut off, hmm. right? So that's some area where they can become bevkuf, right? Be very very uh, I would say determined when it comes, very very informed when it comes to what is the extent to which you can buy. Next thing is uh, be very 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 important. Where you know uh, very uh, I would say I have a lot of knowledge on what is the flow plan because see. the clubhouse and all this na these are like the item numbers in the movie right uh, but the story if a movie has to hit you see a no movie will get hit because of the item number yeah have you seen any movie none St- movie gets hit only because of the story so the story in the project whatever one might say or oh, you got a rooftop pool or a pool studded with uh, gold i don't know whatever on earth or facing uh, in bo- case of bombay overlooking the arabian sea or whatever but fall in love with the flow plan only if you because see, ultimately that's the story you're going to live in the flow plan not on the pool so be very understanding of what is your requirements and will this flow plan solve it now last two questions mm-hmm. one is how is western real estate market in, is different from india mm-hmm. is it see one is from the regulatory perspective both are almost the same this there's lot of i would say localized rules in the west and in india from what the customers point of view do you think people buy more there or buy more here hmm. this uh, it really depends uh, raj uh, because uh, wherever whenever people see opportunity in in the market they participate and real estate is the it, it's the, it's the bucket which has most of your savings especially from middle class to upper class that's where a lot of the savings will go into so that's world over is the same thing right so whenever people see opportunity they move into it in the west what has been happening is 
there are more conglomerates which have been pushing out the end user right something like your there was few companies that house flipping company and they go and buy off the houses and a lot of banks like you know black blackrock blackstone these sort of guys bought a lot of houses so you can't compete with them that happens that happens in so hence uh, i don't know what what exactly is how much amount of meat is left for the end user in india that is not the case good amount of meat is left there for the end user but they need to you know spot it wisely so you can go buy a house for an investment purpose and then flip it and still make a decent return yes the opportunity is left in india yeah the opportunity is more in india less invest in that line and second as a buying behavior india may a lot of people buy under construction properties and the banks fund it us may that doesn't happen banks do not fund under construction property they have to buy a ready to move in property so a lot of mm-hmm. ready to buy, rtm ready to move in properties are sold more in the us than in india and generally the demand there is less because population is declining yeah. and they've already they have built out houses for most people but they the already past. have a lot of people who have bought houses yeah that's also there the demographic is also there okay last question uh-huh. a lot of people are exploring a new kind of investment opportunity in real estate mm-hmm. which is very big phenomena in us mm-hmm. that is airbnb Mm-hmm. or holiday homes mm-hmm. right so in goa also this has started yeah. growing a lot yeah. lonavala started karjot started happening absolutely right? what people do is they buy houses and they give it to some management agency for okay. them to run it on airbnb or something and then they run it and annually us pay for 15 20% they give it back to you i rara rara correct right do you think it's a good opportunity in india or no it is it is i should fe- be more people think about these creative models of tourism or holiday homes like and give it to airbnbs or stay vista or i don't know 20 other companies mm-hmm, as well mm-hmm. saffron homes yeah it is again isme one has to again once they delve into it they'll realize that okay you can't see essentially isme what what's happening you are targeting the hotel wala customer right hotel mein the high end paying customer right so if you if you really make it in a exquisite manner like a boutique manner you will do exceptionally well there's good opportunity at least for the next 5 to 10 years because india has now begun really traveling so we are traveling a lot within our country so and afford you know affordability is also when people want that exquisite uh, that good Uh, you know that exquisite experience the boutique experience if your property can give that i mean yeah. returns are very good and in fact another trend which will also come up in line with this is a fractional ownership already it has begun the lot of yeah, companies in the prop tech space already. which is doing that that also is going to pick up and with digitization of land records so land is your land or built up space is your asset right once the entire ownership of that gets digitized in fact for owning of space it's already digitized your sale deed ka digitization at least in our state it's there i don't know in various other states but if that once that happens right so the fractional ownership will go for a boom go for a boom tell me top 5 cities for tourism or holiday home sort of investment opportunities which you see right now in india uh, one to everybody i think it's goa Uh-huh. right i think northeast has some hidden gems there because of this see when people are going to these sort of things it's very destination based yeah so you know a lot so it has to really you know uh, survive that uh, parameter i think the northeast and uh, has some wonderful opportunities then goa is there and then the north region the himalayas region so either it's hills or the sea Okay that's it yes because these have to be boutique experiences you can't have like this you sort can't of give thing. jungle experience you jungle is also a boutique in a way but it can't be like okay city tour wala experience like you come and build in middle of bombay i don't think it works uh oh, bandra view <laughs> yeah i don't the, <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah slum tourism is is growing in india like oh, is it yeah, yeah i was reading i see this stuff. yeah there's ah. a tour on on airbnb dharavi slum tour oh and which is provided by multiple hosts now ha huh. and it's every time i see it at least 3 4 of them are almost full every every weekend oh wow i mean that's that's very good actually if people want to see what's happening in the slums because that, there's a different world happening yeah, there yeah. different perspective and how essentially like how people can live in a highly constrained environment how do they come together so it's yeah i mean that's wonderful actually a lot oh. of foreigners want to see this uh-huh. okay and last question of the day we're uh-huh. going to end it top 5 uh, top 5 cities to invest in real estate projects or getting an apartment or buying a 
bungalow or just buying a land some real estate asset like some real estate asset uh-huh. top 5 cities which you think are growing at a pace so this is coming purely as a developer which might not indicate as a end user like a investor right okay. so as a developer i would say hyderabad bangalore and then i would say uh, bombay and ncr okay and then maybe i would still stick with four not more oh. as an end, end user, user as an end user hyderabad is doing fabulously well and bangalore is also because wherever the knowledge economy is there that things right. will do well but definitely i'll say the shortcomings in my knowledge is i've not studied the tier 2 cities as well now you're yeah. telling indoor indoor might be a super place then i was just going to say right. come to indoor <laughs> i know i really want to indoor is a place yeah. to be i feel And like i'm missing out on opportunities yes now. you are okay for a developer <laughs> one of the best cities to invest in is in indoor for an end yeah. user is one of the best cities in indoor and this i'm saying with absolute zero data just personal bias <laughs> 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 but i'll take it <laughs> <laughs> right please don't don't believe me and take it as a financial okay. <laughs> advice it's my hometown uh-huh. so it's my right and it's my heart saying that this is the best place to do so <laughs> i would want to do that and i'm putting all my eggs there because i genuinely okay. feel potential there mm-hmm. and i just love it more than yes. anything else i just think that that's it's good indoor go. is the place to be thank you so much mm-hmm. brother you were really good on this podcast mm-hmm. i didn't know whether time flew thank you thank so you so much raj and thank you for having me here and it's great to know you and to get connected to uh, to you know to your users and share our industry's perspective thank you so much ye episode end tak dekhne ke liye hame batao ki hum kahan par galti karte hain taki hum agle episode mein wo galtiyan na dohraye aur isse bhi better episode aapke samne la paye प्लीज़ कॉमेंट्स में मुझे बताना क्योंकि हम बेटर होंगे तभी आपको और ज़्यादा बेटर वैल्यू प्रोवाइड कर पाएंगे और वो आपके फीडबैक के बिना इम्पॉसिबल है अनटिल नेक्स्ट एपिसोड कीप फिगरिंग आउट बिफोर यू डू दैट ये एपिसोड किसी एक इंसान के साथ शेयर करो जिसकी लाइफ में इस एपिसोड को देखने के बाद एक पॉजिटिव चेंज आएगा बिकॉज वन कॉन्वर्जेशन इज इनफ टू ब्रिंग अ चेंज इन समाइफ आई सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम